Hello, hey, this is a welcome video for uh, BA211, Principles of Financial Accounting, so welcome. So I'm gonna walk you through the course and uh, clue you in hopefully to some important things at the beginning of the course, some things you're gonna need to remember throughout the course, and then hopefully we'll be able to talk a little bit of, as well about some of the things that you need to finish up throughout the course by the end of the course so you can have a great uh, experience and a great uh, grade in the end, right? And a lot of learning. So let's. Uh, what I have up here is I have the Canvas uh, course site. So I'm just going to walk through really quick what to do once you get into this uh, course. So of course, hit the Start Here button, right? So start here, and you're going to walk through. So this is going to hopefully clue you in. The Start Here uh, module is going to clue you in. I'm going to have this video posted here, so hopefully you'll run into that that if not at the beginning of the home page. Uh, this is the textbook introduction. So for, the, for this course, we're going to use the same uh, textbook uh, for financial accounting and managerial accounting. Uh, this link down here at the bottom is going to get you uh, set. So you need to click on that link and it'll take you into the, uh, it's McGraw-Hill Connect is what it is. It'll take you into the course site. You're going to register. If you've done a, a course uh, through Connect before, you're going to use your same username and password. Uh, I would suggest you use your uh, student email as your username that you uh, use for that. So, so anyways, get set with that. So register for Connect and that will get you going with the, um, the main kind of core accounting problem set that you're going to be doing throughout the term. Uh, next thing is going to be kind of the, the, the assignments, right? So the first uh, three things, the smart book, learn smart assignments, the exercise assignments, the quizzes are all going to be done through Connect. So make sure you get uh, signed up for that. The exams as well are going to be done through Connect. Uh, the fourth one down there, QuickBooks online assignments, that's going to be something uh, new this term uh, that we're integrating in. So that's going to be for the second unit of the course after you begin the foundational unit. So I'll show you uh, what that looks like here in just a moment. And then of course, as we, uh, th that's, this is a quick overview of the QuickBooks uh, case study that we're gonna be going through and when things are gonna be due. Uh, these will also show up on the syllabus or on this, the course uh, schedule as well as when things are gonna be due. And then as we be in the kind of getting started, um, unit, there's a quiz that you're gonna need to take uh, at the beginning. So that'll get you going. And this quiz, as long as you get this quiz done and walk through that getting started um, module and get things set up with the Connect product, that'll mark you down as participating in the course. So let's look at the syllabus link here. All right, the syllabus, this lines out kind of when things are due. Um, it's a quick and easy way to look at assignments and when they're due. Uh, there's also the syllabus link up top here. You can walk through that and talk, uh, see kind of more about the course, uh, the grading procedures and all that stuff in there. So one thing to be aware of with Canvas and Connect and how everything's put together is um, a lot of times Canvas will m mark your grade and show a percentage for your grade. Uh, what that typically is, is that's gonna be the percentage of the items you've completed so far. So not your total grade, it's not your final grade. So what, whatever Canvas shows at the very end of the term may not be your final grade. So definitely look at the syllabus, uh, see how things are calculated. It's ca calculated based on points. So you're gonna be look, need to look at your points over the total required points. That's actually gonna be your final grade, not what Canvas is showing as a percent because sometimes that's off and there's extra credit and all that stuff included in there. So. So I'm going to click on the schedule link here. That's actually going to be an Excel file that'll pull up for us. And it's a good way to just look at, at how the course is structured and how it goes. So um, as we look here, kind of the blue weeks, weeks one through four here, you see that week one through four, that is going to be really the first unit. That's going to be the foundational unit for accounting. This is where we're going to learn uh, how to do the debits and credits of accounting. We're going to start learning about financial statements and all that, right? So that's that's the first four weeks of the term. The goal is going to be 
to finish the first four chapters and exam one uh, before week five of the term. Uh, because week five, we're going to move on to the next section, right? So we see down here, we scroll down, weeks of five through eight, the next four weeks, that's going to be our kind of our intermediate accounting um, section. So that's going to be uh, really going to be a lot of not necessarily the, the the basis or the foundation of accounting with the debits and credits and all that but this is going to be the next step this is going to be some of the, some different things related to um, uh, types of transactions when we're doing accounting we're going to use QuickBooks Online as part of this uh, unit this middle unit here the intermediate unit unit so that you're going to have um, kind of a pared down uh, assignment set for the Connect product, right? So you're still going to have some things with that, but that's really going to be pared down where you're not going to have a whole lot of stuff to do for that. So you're going to be able to spend some more time, and we're going to do this in class as well if you have an in-class option. But I have put a lot of videos out there to help you if you're online or asynchronous. And that's going to be, uh, we're going to be submitting some QuickBooks um, reports as we build our QuickBooks company. Uh, so that's not extra money, it's, it's something that's uh, provided for students. And then this last section, week one, 9 through 11, we really don't have a final exam in this course, but we do have a final section that finishes up during finals week, right? So the last exam is set for finals week, um, and so we just have the three um, chapters that kind of hang out there at the end. That's going to be some more advanced stuff that we're going to be talking about and that we'll finish up during week 9, 10, and 11. Week 11, we do not have lectures, but this is a, a work week still, right? So you're able to get, still get um, that exam three and those assignments for that last three, those last three chapters done, done during week 9, 10, and 11, okay? So hopefully that helps. Yeah, kind of know know what to do as you get started. Uh, the QuickBooks Online um, sign up, you're not going to need to worry about that that until week four. I'm going to send out a uh, invitation link to everybody in the course, and then that through that link through your student email, you're going to be able to sign up uh, at, on week four to be able to prep for that QuickBooks Online uh, case study. So so that and that'll be be all uh, starting week five. So but week. Weeks one through four, we're really going to focus on the foundation uh, to get you going, and we'll need to get you into Connect and working in the Connect product, so um, the Connect tool. So hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Reach out anytime. If you uh, would like to set up a Zoom meeting or a live meeting or however you you want to meet to get support and help, uh, and of course come in class. We're going to do a lot of stuff in class. I mean lots of your work. If you come to class every every time, um, you're really going to have a lot less to do on your own. We're going to cover a lot of stuff in class and we're really going to help you progress. So, all right, great to have you in the course and we will talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.